I'm curious as to how people can mix up real friendship with Facebook friends. I mean, you, you know who your real friends are, don't you? I'm I think it's so different. Friends. I think, like, you can count your real friends on your hands and if in the middle of the night they needed you and you needed to get in your car and drive to them and you would be there and then you have social media friends where you might really like following them because they make you laugh or they make you smile but they might not be a real friend. So are you all on Facebook? Yeah, yeah but mm -hmm. I've yeah. realised there's loads of people on there that are not my friends. You know, you know you'll turn on your Facebook and it'll be like you're invited to um, Adam's event and you'll, you'll look at it and it'll be somebody's like, you know, 40th birthday or 30th birthday, which I think is quite a big intimate thing. Mm. And yet you've just been kind of clustered along yeah. with kind of mm. 40 other people. And I think the problem with social media is that yeah. that personal attachment sometimes gets lost. Mm. Like I saw a Facebook profile yesterday that had something like 700 friends. That's mad. Yeah. I think I might have maybe a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand friends seems excessive, but over a quarter of Facebook's billion users have more than 500 friends. <laughs> Happy birthday to So, is friendship on social media all about numbers? <laughs>this lady I'm looking at now is called Emily Cannon. This video is going to Westfield to get her boyfriend's laptop sorted. Doesn't sound to me like the basis of a brilliant video. Fingers crossed I have an appointment so Jake can get his laptop.